Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Uh, it is with great pleasure that I take part in the opening of this very important event to welcome all delegates from member countries and participants to the 22nd meeting of the Extended Scientific Committee of the CCSPT. I would also like to express my appreciation, particularly to the Executive Secretary, Mr. Robert Kennedy and the Chair of Scientific Committee, Mr. Joe Karnala, and, and the panel FSODI, Ms. Anna Parma, and Mr. John Pope, <coughs> and all delegates of the Scientific Committee of the CCSPD to give us an honor to host this meeting. Indonesia has been a member of three regional fisheries management organizations, such as uh, CCSPD, IUTC, WCPFC, and a cooperating non-member of the IATTC as a commitment of Indonesia to take a part in managing tuna resources sustainably in the regional and international scale. Indonesia also has developed and focused to implement the Indonesia Tuna Management Plan to ensure through appropriate management the conservation and optimum utilization of tuna resources in Indonesia, especially, especially certain bluefin tuna. Indonesia's strong attempt to conduct management for its tuna fishery by implementing the principle of conservation, management, and development of the fishery under the Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries, or CCFF, and comply with management measures of the uh, RFMOs by incorporating the measures with the Indonesian Fisheries Act and Regulation, and its national type of action, of course. In the meantime, Indonesia has been trying to improve its compliance to the CCSPT management measures and the other two RFMOs, including FEMNES, Observer, and Logbook Implementation, and many other still ongoing uh, process. In terms of management of tuna resources, scientific meetings such as this uh, today's meeting have uh, very important roles to provide scientific advices for the managers to make sure these resources managed properly to provide prosperity for all people, both small-scale and large-scale fishing industry with various principles. I hope this meeting will provide best recommendation to the Commission to ensure that the building stocks of certain lake bluefin tuna achieve through the equitable participation of all members. <coughs> Illegal unreported and unregulated fishing and over exploitation today are the major concern for the future of Indonesian fisheries. A slow process in providing scientific advice for appropriate management will make a potential delay having a proper management and a neglecting of IU, IU fishing in scientific advice will potentially are uncertainties and will lead <coughs> to fisheries management failure, threatening not only the fish resources but also to the livelihoods of million people who rely on fishing. Thus, this scientific group has a very important role to not only give appropriate advice to the managers in the right time but also advice which is possible to enforce and also help to eliminate the IUU fishing practices. In some cases, scientific advice will require a complete data and take a long time process yet to be found complicated and ex expensive. A strong engine reform which in line with scientific advice should be able to demonstrate improvement on global small-scale fishers' welfare, not only focusing on sectoral and fragmented profit. We acknowledge the long-term effort by CCSPD for establishing management plan of short <coughs> and has deemed success in management, managing the stock while taking into account the sustainable fisheries. Other important issues that affect adversely to the stock, such as IU fishing, should be addressed uh, effect effectively. Indonesia has put a lot of effort to tackle IU fishing, fish laundry, and fish mafia 
through very strong regulation on fee states starting at uh, our Act 2009, which enforced through the punishment for any IU fishing activities. For the last two years, under the Minister Susi's direction, Indonesia, IU policy proved to be able to reduce significantly foreign and national IU uh, fishing vessel in our uh, territory. This due to our integrity with a strong implementation enforcement, not less than 317 vessels were arrested and most of them were destroyed. We all agree that IU fishing is not only an Indonesian problem, but it's also our neighboring country's problem, and agree that IU fishing is an organized crime, that IU fishing is no manner should allow to operate in our waters. Our ministry policy, while not allowing the foreign vessel to operate within our, our waters, promoting investment in a small-scale fleet for small-scale fishers were encouraged. This demonstrates a decrease in fishing effort and capacity by 35% relative to previous year and, and will lead to a long-term process, long-term increase in catch of domestic fishing effort. This is taken by an understanding that all resources is for the sake of the prosperous for all people with finer uh, principles which today mostly small-scale fishers that involving more people are at risk of poverty with low salary, human slavery, malnutrition, and bad health insurance up to date remaining our big uh, homework. In relation with that, there are other areas that will give benefit to share and to discuss either in the scientific committee or in the compliance and commission meeting. Those issues in this opportunity, opportunity such as additional issues on safety at sea, slavery, smuggling, environmental pollution, and trade fight, fairness might be worth and important to include in the discussion on those meetings. Indonesia has been actively involved in various efforts in ocean governance, not only in tuna RFMOs, but also other marine and fisheries resources, both national, regional, international level. It is our hope that we maintain commitment and improve our collaboration to manage stock of our certain bluefin tuna sustainably. I hope this meeting will meet this objective and that to achieve those we should work hard, safely and persistently working together. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge Dr. John Anala's commitment and an outstanding leadership for the CCSPT, particularly in sensitive meeting. Without him, successful might not be achieved. I wish us all very successful endeavor and cooperation in mutual partnership and beneficial spirit. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.